hello friends in my this particular video i am going to discuss how you can take or plot the uh, fourier transform of any continuous time signal okay so basically code is very simple just you need to know the formula of the fourier transform which we widely used in our signals and system okay so that is clc clear all close all we can write if you want you can add warning of also format long i have written you can ignore this line for the time being and then i am taking one arbitrarily continuous time signal so my uh, time sample range in case of my continuous signal is minus 2 to 2 and you know in matlab everything is basically discrete but if you want to plot any continuous time signal what you have to do in between two successive samples the gap time gap should be very small so that i have given very small increment that is 0.001 and then i am taking one simple rectangular pulse or get function that is t greater than equal to minus 1 minus of t greater than equal to 1 that is uh, this particular rectangular pulse well known and then plot t comma x continuous time signal x c t if i plot this see you will get your well known box function curve which is this one right rectangular box and it is continuous we are interpreting this as continuous but actually this is discrete in matlab because in computer nothing uh, can be continuous right but if you give very small increment then it will look like continuous then i am making another figure window to plot the magnitude spectrum of the fourier transformation and then see in the fourier transformation what is the formula f of omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t to the power minus j omega t dt so that fourier transformed uh, version is basically continuous with respect to omega you know right this much basics of fourier transformation i think you know then only you want to implement in matlab directly obviously will not come without studying theory so omega range i am defining minus 8 pi to 8 pi you can choose your favorable range no problem in that but make sure here also increment should be very small because i my f of omega is continuous with respect to omega so you cannot give huge increment like one uh, incrementation of one you cannot give then your uh, curve shape will be uh, improper okay now now the most important part forget about for loop for the time being what is the formula x of omega equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of t into e to the power minus j omega t dt that's what i have written here integration how you can do already started in applied numerical method trapezoidal integration and several uh, numerical integration techniques we have studied so here i am taking trapezoidal integration in matlab this is built in function first parameter or uh, yeah it should be first parameter should be or first argument which has to be passed should be based on which uh, variable you want to integrate like recall the formula integration minus infinity to infinity x of t into e to the power minus j omega t dt so with respect to t we have to integrate so first one is t and second one just simply write the expression which you have to integrate x continuous time signal that is f of t into e to the power minus of j minus of j can be written as minus of 1 i in matlab for optimization into omega into uh, uh, t okay so why i have given a dot star simple because t in this case is one array okay similarly when exp of t will perform this will result into an array so that i have to give dot star otherwise it will show error element by element multiplication right now this same operation you have to do for various values of omega for a particular value of omega if you calculate then you cannot plot that you have to plot uh, for a range of omega so for a range of omega you have to calculate the Fourier transformation so that I have used one for loop for i equal to one colon length of omega and perform each time this operation and then end that all right plot omega comma abs of omega grid on if you want you can ignore grid on if you want you can write okay let me do evaluate selection and what kind of graph we are getting let's see so what is the Fourier transformation of rectangular pulse correct sync function so see here in the magnitude response we are getting basically sync function only okay this is our main lobe and these small smalls are side lobes okay all right now one small property verification you know that if we compress or expand in time domain it will 
affect in the reverse or in the frequency domain if time expansion is done then in the frequency domain compression will be done if time compression is done then in frequency domain expansion will be done so let me do compression and show you whether reverse thing is happening or not before that just observe one thing our main lobe bandwidth okay so it is uh, far away from minus 10 and close to 0 main lobe i am talking here also in the positive direction also same now our rectangular pulse is from minus 1 to 1 now i am shrinking that so suppose i am taking from minus 0 0.3 to 0 0.3 previously our main lobe was far away from minus 10 or in the positive direction we can say from 10 our main lobe was far away it was close to 0 but now observe after shrinking in time domain whether we are getting frequency expansion see our time domain signal is minus 0 0.3 to 3 okay but you can see in frequency domain it main lobe itself went beyond minus 10 and 10 in both negative and positive direction so reverse thing is happening property has been satisfied one more simple function i am taking to show you this code is working suppose cos uh, 2 star pi star 2 star t cos 2 pi ft simple right mathematical expression i hope you know this then control a evaluate selection what should be the uh, magnitude uh, plot of the Fourier transformation of cosine signal two spikes one at positive omega one at negative omega right let us cross verify see whether we are getting or not yeah here this is our original cosine signal this is our uh, magnitude part of the Fourier transformation here we are getting two spikes exact spikes don't expect because that much such spike cannot be found so this is what our cosine Fourier transform okay so I hope you have understood the code how to verify the property and how to apply different mathematical formula to check the to get the plot of magnitude part of the Fourier transform so this is all for my this video thank you for watching